Okay, uh, all right, so I will call to order this um, City of Bloomington Board of Park Commissioners. This is a, a special meeting to address a farmer's market suspension appeal. And uh, Kim, could we have the roll call, please? Kathleen Mills. Here. Ellen Rodkey. Here. Israel Herrera. Here. And Jim Whitlatch is absent. Okay, but we do have a quorum. Um, so this is the review of a um, suspension from Bloomington Farmers Market. And first we'll hear some of the details from Tim Street. Thank you, commissioners. Kim, am I on? Check one, two. Test, 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 there we go. Good afternoon, Park Commissioners. Tim Street, Director of the Parks Department. Um, as mentioned, I'm with you tonight uh, in regards to the suspension appeal from Mr. Deloney uh, related to an incident that occurred at the Farmer's Market here at City Hall on Saturday, May 25th, 2024. Uh, ultimately, staff recommends uh, upholding the suspension uh, as it was issued, uh, but the Park Board does have authority in this issue. Uh, so on May 25th, an incident occurred at the Farmer's Market uh, in which Mr. Deloney was observed uh, getting into line behind women uh, and, and rubbing himself against them. Uh, this came to our attention because a Bloomington Parks and Rec staff member uh, who was attending the farmer's market with her husband that day was, was bumped into three times and on the third occurrence uh, turned around and confronted him at which point uh, he, he left the line in the area. Uh, the staff member then located the on-site security officer uh, with Marshall Security. <clears throat> they relocated Mr. Deloney and observed him uh, continuing this behavior um, with another woman and provided a video and image with that uh, MSI report. Uh, when confronted by MSI and Clarence Boone, the farmer's market coordinator uh, who is here with us this evening, Mr. Deloney responded that he was seeking help for his issues uh, and when he was notified that law enforcement was on the way, he left the area. Uh, he was later arrested and charges are pending in this case. Uh, per Parks Policy uh, 11080, the director is empowered to issue park suspensions for disruptive behavior. Uh, upon learning of this behavior, Mr. Deloney was issued a one-year suspension from the farmer's markets, um, as these are locations where women in line would potentially be vulnerable to this behavior. Uh, <clears throat> the suspension was issued in accordance, and Mr. Deloney was sent the appeal letter, uh, and it is included here in packet materials. Um, so Mr. Chris Wheeler with the legal department is going to come up after me and talk a little bit about uh, the policy and the, the city legal side of this, uh, as well as procedure. Um, if Mr. Deloney is here, um, he of course can be given time by the board to make his case. Uh, if not, you can proceed to any questions and ruling. Um, when that is done, um, Mr. Wheeler will type up the findings. Uh, I would recommend we take a brief recess at that time. He will come back with the findings to be read and adopted by the board uh, and signed. Good evening, Chris Wheeler with City Legal. Um, because this sort of an action uh, is appealed and is subject to the potential of a judicial review by the trial court, um, we thought it would be important to review your authorities here so that they're on the record and can be made part of your findings. Uh, so just as a reminder, I know that you're aware of this, but I would like to put this on the record that this is a statutorily authorized board under Indiana Code 36-10-4. And under that particular code, it gives you the authority to make rules for the management of the property under your control. Uh, this board was established by Bloomington Municipal Code Section 2.20, which adopts Indiana Code 36-10-4. This board has established the Department of Parks and Recreation Policy Manual. And in that manual, under Administrative Policy 2050, uh, Roman numeral 2, subset A, uh, a person may be suspended from use or entrance on property owned, managed, or operated by the City of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department for reasons that include but are not limited to actions or behavior which violate United States Code or Indiana Code or Indiana Administrative Code or even our City of Bloomington Municipal Code. 
We can also remove people for action or behavior which violates the rules and regulations that have been adopted by the City of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, people can be suspended and removed for aggressive or violent action or behavior. Actions or behaviors that unreasonably disrupt the activities of other users of the park or facility. Actions or behavior that unreasonably interfere with other person's ability to use the park or facility. Uh, action or behavior which unreasonably causes or creates a risk of causing injury to persons within or on property owned, managed, or operated by City of Bloomington Parks. Actions or behavior which unreasonably cause or create a risk of causing damage to property owned, managed, or operated by City of Bloomington Parks, or and or actions or behavior which constitutes a public nuisance. Uh, as Mr. Street pointed out, the most recent version of the Department of Parks, Recreation, and Behavior Policy under 11080, uh, which was approved by the Board of Parks Commissioners back in March of this year, uh, states that behavior in the behavior guidelines that it prohibits any behavior which is disruptive or which hinders the use of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department programs or services. This includes but is not limited to verbal or physical harassment or assault. Policy 11080 also states that offenses may result in up to a one year suspension, which is what the staff is recommending today. Policy 11080 also provides that the individual may appeal. That, ind that individual did appeal. He did a written filing of a request for appeal uh, within the prescribed amount of time to do so. And so that's why we are here today. Um, I'm sure that you have questions. Um, uh, we have staff available for your, to answer those questions and we're happy to take those now. All right, do we have any questions? We have Clarence Boone here, and do we have any questions for him or Tim or Chris Wheeler? We have a pretty extensive outline of what happened here. So Clarence, is there anything that you would like to add? I'm not trying to read all of this stuff. <laughs> uh, no, it, Tim summed it up very well. Um, Embarrassing of that, that should not have happened. And um, all I ask is, uh, if I may, exercise the full extent of your authority to keep him out of this farmer's market. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I know that, um, I mean, Mr. Deloney is not here, but I know he mentioned in his appeal that he felt like things hadn't been decided from a criminal case kind of point of view, but as Chris pointed out and Tim pointed out, we have our own policies and it doesn't have to be technically criminal for a person to be removed from a parks facility or environment. Um, so I don't know if we have any other questions or want to... I don't have any questions. Yeah, I don't have any questions. I see that there was, you know, like infringement of our own policy and we have you know, evidence and, and descriptions and statements. Yeah, right. We have everything laid out for us and we certainly want everyone to feel like that they are safe um, at the farmer's market. So I think we're probably ready to take a motion on. Yeah, I would uh, move to approve the City of Bloomington Farmer's Market suspension and uh, to, I guess, uphold the suspension um, that has already been issued. I second. Okay. And a roll call vote, please, Kim. I would suggest oh, at this yeah. point, be yes. before you vote on that, so what, what's going to happen is Chris is going to put that writing sure. into the findings okay. and into the order, the park board's order, and then come back and, I believe, read that into the record, Chris, okay. and then you can vote on the oh, motion sure. to, to ensure that this captures what you have voted. So I, I would suggest, Kathleen, that you call a brief recess until Chris can come back. Okay. And then we'll reconvene to take the vote. Sure, we can do that. Give Chris a chance to type. So, yeah, okay. All right, so we'll have a brief uh, recess of the Board of Park Commissioners and come back for this vote in just a little bit then. Thank you. City Legal again. Uh, these are your findings that we are proposing uh, and your order. Uh, and I'd like to read it into the record and the board can then vote on adopting uh, the findings in order. 
Uh, it reads as follows, City of Bloomington's Board of Park Commissioners order on appeal of notice of suspension for violating behavior policy 11080. This matter is before the Board of Parks Commissioners for an appeal of notice of suspension from the Bloomington Farmers Market, filed by Mr. Andre Deloney. The suspension was issued on June 5, 2024, for conduct that occurred at the Bloomington Farmers Market on May 25, 2024. The Board of Park Commissioners now finds as follows. Number one, under the authority of Indiana Code, section 36-10-4 at SEC, and Bloomington Municipal Code, section 2.20, and in accordance with Administrative Policy 2050, Roman numeral 2, subset A, of the Department of Parks and Recreation Policy Manual, a person may be suspended from use or entrance on property owned, managed, or operated by the City of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department for reasons that include but are not limited to A, actions or behavior which violate the United States Code, B, actions or behavior which violate the Indiana Code, C, actions or behavior which violate the Indiana Administrative Code, D, actions or behavior which violate the City of Bloomington Municipal Code. E, actions or behavior which violate the rules and regulations adopted by the City of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department or City of Bloomington Parks Board, unless the appropriate permit has been obtained. F, aggressive or violent actions or behavior. G, actions or behavior that unreasonably disrupts the activities of others use other users of the park or facility. H, actions or behavior that unreasonably interferes with other person's ability to use the park or facility. I, actions or behavior which unreasonably causes a risk of, or causes or creates a risk of causing injury to persons within or on property owned, managed or operated by the City of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department. J, actions or behavior which unreasonably causes or creates a risk of causing damage to property owned, managed or operated by the City of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department. Or K, actions or behavior which constitutes a public nuisance. Number two, the most recent version of the Department of Parks and Recreation Behavior Policy 11080 was approved by the Board of Parks Commissioners in March of 2024. These behavior guidelines prohibit, quote, any behavior which is disruptive or which hinders the use of Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department programs or services. This includes but is not limited to verbal or physical harassment or assault, end quote. Number three, policy 11080 also states that offenses may result in up to a one-year suspension and that the department shall notify the individual of any sanctions resulting from their behavior. Number four, policy 11080 also provides that the individual may appeal any sanctions imposed to the Board of Park Commissioners. Number five, on May 25, 2025, Mr. Deloney attended the Bloomington Farmers Market, which is operated and, man and managed by the Bloomington Department of Parks and Recreation. Parks staff received multiple firsthand reports that Mr. Deloney touched and groped other customers in an unwanted sexual manner while at the farmer's market. Number six, as a result of these reports, on June 5, 2024, the Bloomington Parks and Recreation Department issued their notice of suspension from City of Bloomington Farmers Markets, also known as an NOS. Suspending Mr. Deloney from the Bloomington Farmers Market from June 5, 2024 until June 5, 2025. This NOS was included, also included instructions for appealing the suspension. Number seven, an appeal was scheduled before this commission on July 23, 2024. Number eight, at the appeal, City of Bloomington Department of Parks and Recreation staff presented evidence of Mr. Deloney's behavior. Number nine, Mr. Deloney failed to appear. Number 10, the evidence supports a finding that Mr. Deloney violated policy 11080. After reviewing all of the evidence and testimony presented, the Board of Park Commissioners hereby orders as follows. One, Commissioners uphold the NOS issued by the Department of Parks and Recreation on June 5, 2024. So ordered this 23rd day of July, 2024, signed Kathleen Mills, President, Board of Parks Commissioners, City of Bloomington. The staff recommends that the board adopt these findings and order. Thank, Thank you. you. May I approach? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Okay, any other questions? Are we ready? Now we can take, yeah. Okay. okay. So at this time, I'd like to make a motion that we adopt the findings on the order of a, on appeal 
of notice of suspension for violating behavior policy 11080. Okay. Okay. All right. And a roll call vote, please. Kathleen Mills. Aye. Helen Rodkey. Aye. Israel Herrera. Aye. All right. Um, motion is carried. All right. And with that, I will adjourn this special meeting of the Bloomington Board of Park Commissioners. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.